Well, good morning. You join us at what has been a very busy Milton Keynes Park late today. And yeah, it's been fantastic sitting here watching the morning unfold. It started with a big thick fog and a deep frost last night. It was real cold. And uh, yeah, the sun's come up and it is warm. We're just looking at a lovely glass clear lake this morning. It's so flat calm, but unfortunately no fish. So yeah, just to catch up with where we're at. So last night me and Shane met up in Oxford on the River Thames. Um, it was all a bit hectic really, wasn't it? I think we've, <laughs> we've had about five minutes of being there. Well, you'll see um, when we cut to it. But yeah, so, so that went really well anyway. So, um, so we met up last night at Oxford at the river, had some food at the pub. Um, and uh, it was getting quite late on, so it was a case of, of where we're getting down, you know, hunkered down for the night. Um, and the nearest and, I guess, best place of choice was, uh, was Will and Lake. So, yeah, I got here last night about 12 o'clock, got set up. No real expectations, just somewhere to spend the night and, and, and watch the morning unfold. Um, and, and we've pretty much seen that out. So, yeah, now it's a case of uh, moving on. We're going to get packed up shortly, go and get some breakfast. And we've got a couple of lakes that we've not been to before that we're going to go and check out for a bit of multi-species. So we've got some maggots and some worms and, um, and some live baits if we, if we feel the pike or perch for the taking. But, but more so than anything, I'd like to target some smaller species. So, you know, the likes of your roach and your rud. And there is carp there, so we could always chuck a carp rod out and see how that fares. But yeah, it's going to be sort of roaming around for the day, checking out different venues. Um, um, and, uh, and, and, and see where the day takes us. So we'll cut back to last night's action and uh, you'll see us later on wherever we wind up. <laughs> so would you believe it, been here minutes and Shane had popped in to get us a drink up here and um, yeah, he'd just come back out with the drinks and my float had started to slide away. And pff, it's an absolute donkey, isn't it? It is. It's an <laughs> absolute donkey, that is. It, it's got to be a three pound of that, so yeah. Look at that. Whew. That is a donkey. Wow. Anyway, I'm just going to let her settle for a minute because I have only just netted her. I'm going to get set up with the mat and everything and get some scales for that one. Well, what a way to start. First bite. <laughs> and look at the size of this. What a lovely fish as well. Not yet weighed, we're about to get him in the carrier bag and see. He's not very happy at the minute though. Last thing I want to do is drop him. There we go. He's kinking. He's not happy, is he? <laughs> Come on. Look at that. What a fish. And he's. Oh, look, he's showing off. <laughs> City centre lump. I'm pretty sure it's three and a half. What do you think? I reckon it's a, it might be a book. I think it's certainly the biggest one I've caught from here. Yeah. So when you said to me earlier, you can let me know, you know, what your biggest fish was. Well, there it is. <laughs> Believe it or not. Look at the size of that mouth. <laughs> that is incredible. Right. Don't want to keep it out too long. So, on to our next venue. This is Lodge Lake, also in Milton Keynes. Um, we've been to a couple of rivers this morning after Whittle Lake and getting some breakfast. Unfortunately, to no avail, they're all either flooded or the, the, the banks were burst or, or the access was just impossible really, wasn't it? Um, so we've had to knock that on the head and it was a shame really, because I was, I was kind of hoping this weekend to you know, cater to some river fishing. Um, but here's our first look at the lake. Quite chocolatey, granted, but we've had a lot of rain recently, so I suppose that's just a given, but yeah. It's certainly no hole in the ground and it's got, um, it's got a lot of character. There are some anglers up there as well, actually. So that's promising. At least there's some fish in here. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll have a wander around, um, see if there's any signs, signs that we can spot off fish or anything in particular that, that is of, of, of interest um, and go from there. I guess go back to the, the vehicles, get the gear. It's worth giving a few hours, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's crack on. So, you've been mistaken into thinking that this is actually a river. Um, Lodge Lake is two areas of water uh, which all go into the same outflow and so the water sort of diverts into one area causing a bit of flow. Um, now today I planned on using a few different methods of, as we discussed earlier, sort of the, the, the live baits, maggots, worms, etc. Um, and given this situation, I thought it'd be nice to try a stick float through. So it's real, real simple. I've just got a little really light 10 foot match rod, uh, five pound mainline down to a three pound bottom. 
I made a nice little stick float there. Um, a little hook and a few whites on, because it's quite coloured up, so I thought white whites, a bit more of a, a visual aid. So, yeah, we'll run the float for a few times, see how it goes. If not, we'll only give it five minutes. We'll move on, keep on our toes and try and see if we can find the fish um, and try and put some fish on the bank if possible. So, yeah, without further ado, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll set a sail. Just get her into that back edge there. Bit of a slow flow, just on that crease. Just gently control that float down there. Though. Try and move it through the, uh, the water nice and slowly so you're really working that bait. So after 15 minutes or so trying in the last swim with a stick float, nothing whatsoever. So we decided to move on. Now just over my shoulder here, we've got a really, really nice set of snags in the margin and we've got about six foot deep. So I propose putting live bait through there. I think, uh, I think perch or pike could potentially be holding in there, but we'll never know till we try. Now last night you would have seen on the river, um, I caught that perch using a live bait. Um, and it's a really simple method really. So if we start from the bottom, it's just any hook of choice. I use a size six wide gate barbed. Um, and then I have a, I don't know, 14, 16, 18, uh, inches there of, of fluorocarbon, just an eight pound, um, which is which is more than enough to deal with the perch, and, and funnily enough, is, is 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 good for the pike. Actually, I've had no problems with that for the pike. That's just up to a swivel. I have my weight there, um, a float stop, sliding float of choice, couple of beads, and then to set the depth, I've just got a couple of um, float stops at the top as well, and. And that's pretty much it really. It's just a case of uh, putting a live bait on and, and getting it out there. So yeah, we'll give it a try now. And fingers crossed, this little predator sat down there for us. So these are the marginal snags that I was on about. I've just put the live bait just away from it because I'm fishing him around six foot. The last thing I want him to do is wind up swimming into the tree and tethering us all up. So just fish him slightly off. Just having to give him the odd knock every now and again because he's not really doing a deal. The water is very cold, so fair play to him. But yeah, just give them 10, 10 or so minutes just to see if anything happens at all. And I'll try them in different areas around this snag as well. I mean, I'll even try them at our feet here because we've again, we've got six feet under this peg. Um, and if I know perch well enough, they're not shy of being right in the edge. So, so we'll give it a try down there as well. Um, but generally speaking, we'll, we'll keep going from peg to peg and depending on which, which method we feel is best in each swim, we'll give it as long as we feel it needs and, uh, and move on. So. That's all we can do. But I think we've agreed that really we don't want to be here for any more than a couple of hours if we can avoid it. Because if it's not happening within a couple of hours, we've got a limited daylight now. So, and of course we need to think about where we're going tonight, don't we? So, exactly. yeah. Food. Yeah, we also agreed earlier. Obviously last night, how convenient was that? Eating pretty much on your peg. Not having to do like any cooking or any, no shopping. Yeah. Nice, wasn't it? So yeah, we've agreed we're going to do that again tonight. It's a bit of a luxury as well in this weather. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So yeah, I'll set him down for a little bit, leave him to do his thing. And if anything's there that takes a liking to him, I'm sure we'll see that, that float slide away. We've just been dead close to nature, but seemingly so far away, and now we're in an urban environment, and I've never been closer to nature. Put your hand out, see if you jump on your hand. It's looking. 
He wants food. Right, so we'll give it a couple of hours. Uh, and we'll try a few different methods as you've seen and unfortunately nothing. So I think we'll give it as long as we could. And really it's getting to that time of day now where we need to think about what we're doing now and where we're going to spend the night. So there is a canal marina just around the corner that we're going to go and have a look at. Um, it may well be that we'll wind up there for the night, who knows? We've heard that there's carp there. So again, it's another venue that we haven't been to before. It's just turn up, see what it looks like. Can we make anything of it? And if so, um, we'll spend the night. But we'll probably take a live bait for a walk, uh, get the float rod out with some worms and maggots, see if there's anything worth going out there while well, we've got some daylight hours. And then I think we'll probably go and get some food. Um, and then likely head back there. If we don't wind up back there later, <laughs> if we don't wind up back there later, then um, we'll let you know where we do wind up. this so I've always loved my canals I think probably from the age of four or five when my granddad first started taking me fishing that was in our local canal 25 or so years ago now and um, so yeah I've always loved them since for all species but look at this this, <laughs> this is like canal dream isn't it lock up there sunken boat we're on a junction moorings yeah full of features Full of confidence, um, so yeah, let's crack a rod out and get to it. I think. Not to mention, we're next to a pub. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, we're next to a pub. <laughs> we're not going to have to go for food, are we? <laughs> that's two places on the trot. A river beside the like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just been made easy, hasn't it? So yeah, I'm going to start out with a live bait around that sunken boat because what was the first thing I said to you? Oh my God, look at that sunken boat! What a feature! So yeah, we're going to start out with that on the on the provision those guys don't. Well, nothing as of yet, but that doesn't stop the excitement flowing. There's so many different places to try. So we're just trying um, near the log gates here. It's quite deep as well, which is quite nice. But um, yeah, beauty of the canals, you don't really know. I mean, it's like I, I was saying, Shane, the canals are uh, back up my way. <laughs> there are fish in there, I know they're there. And often, more often than not, I know where they are, but catching them is a different story. And they are few and far between. And you've got to, I suppose, approach every venue in the same respect, especially canals. You just, you just don't know what you're fishing for and how many of them there is, but all, all you can do is try. So yeah, we'll give it another five minutes. Um, and I imagine we'll go and have a look upstream where the marina is and probably think about doing the night there. The pub is literally bang opposite where I'm sat now. So we'll pop in there for some food, go back to the cars and whatnot, get our gear, um, and then get hunkered down for the night, I assume, yeah? began and um, we decided to come back to the river in the hope of another fish so yesterday we would have left you before we went for dinner so me and Shane went for dinner and um, yeah tried relentlessly last night just to try and catch some fish we did have a few but nothing really camera worthy just a few bits and bobs on the float um, we had a crayfish <laughs> that's probably the biggest thing we had yesterday <laughs> um, so yeah we tried again this morning I had the cart rods out last night. I even had a maggot feeder out last night as well, but again, to no avail. So yeah, I saw the morning on the canal, um, but no good. So decided to pack up and, and come back here in the chance of, a, of another bite. Yeah, it remains to be seen. Um, so yeah, I just got a, a pattern ostered live bait out at the minute. And um, seeing as it was already set up, I've got the maggot feeder out as well, but I may well change that over and get a float out just to, just to cover a bit more water really. But yeah, so that's the score at the minute. We're going to give it a little while here. There's a few more places for us to go across and try um, on the Thames. There is, a, there is a park lake as well, if we feel it's, uh, it's worth going 
go in there um, and time allows really so but yeah otherwise speaking we'll give it a bit longer here probably get some more dinner i reckon a sunday roast to go down a treat won't it yeah, so yeah sunday roast here um and hopefully we're not the only ones eating well today <laughs> This whole weekend was just on the basis that it really was the fact that me and uh, Shane both had the time to actually get together this weekend. So it wasn't really planned around going anywhere specifically. Uh, it certainly wasn't planned at the great time of year because the rivers are all nice. and I've messed that one up. Uh, yeah, well, we just, we just, like I say, we're just seeing out our drink and then we're off. Okay, can you make pull the lines in there? Yeah, yeah, Sam, yeah, Thanks yeah, very much. yeah, 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 yeah. Give it 20 minutes, we will do. She was definitely informing for her uh, in one she. Well, from a fishing point of view, it's certainly not been the most prolific of sessions, um, but we kind of knew that going into it. it. Unfortunately, being how busy me and Shane are, this weekend really was the only time that our free time allowed us to actually get out on the bank. Um, certainly wasn't planned around the weather, the river levels, um, or time of year, but it's what time we had and we've had to try and make of it what we can. Uh, it started off really well with that perch and that was great. And to be fair, that's covered like positivity through the whole session. I mean, as I said previously, I can't even remember the last time I went fishing, whether that just be with a float or a live bait or, or carp fishing. It's been a very, very long time. And uh, it's a bit frantic on Friday running around trying to get all my gear together. I didn't even know if I was going to make it here and you wound up in like six hours of traffic. And But anyway, all of that aside, We've come out and we have tried our best and 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 it has been a relentless effort we've been to several different places some of which it was the first time we've stepped on there so we were asking a lot from the start um but more so than anything it's just been great getting out i mean although i've got one fish to show for it and a couple of bits off the canal i've had a fantastic time and it's been great nature's thrown us some wonders hasn't it Definitely. my goodness some of the things we've seen this weekend it's like yeah it's just unreal if you hadn't have been there at that time and place it would have never have happened would it so yeah i've been quite fortunate in that respect and the weather's not been too bad i mean it's been cold at night but throughout the day it's been pretty nice hasn't it really not great from a fishing point of view unfortunately i mean i'm quite quite thankful actually we've got a bit of cloud cover now because it, it, it might give us that chance that we need this afternoon in order to try and get another fish on the bank uh, that yet, yet remains to be seen but yeah, as it stands at the minute, I've got I've got a static live bait out, and uh, and we'll continue plugging away with the maggot feeder and see if anything turns up. at the moment is just an urban jungle completely surrounded by houses and people flying up and down the, the footpath it's quite a busy area and, and you wouldn't expect to find such a nice spot um, in such a built-up area but yeah we've got a, a section of river here where the Thames comes from North Oxford and diverts through uh, and I think really it's just to uh, alleviate the flood pressure when we when we have a lot of rain because of course if this river comes up too much all of these houses are done for so so yeah, we're just checking out uh, a few pegs up this way uh, from where we were previous. We've walked up um, a few hundred yards now and, and, and been into a few pegs. Just lightly looking areas really with nice snags, slack water. And we've got some really nice depth as well. We're sort of between eight and 10 foot. So personally an area where I'd find perch likely to be hiding up, but um, they don't seem to be playing ball at the moment. So we'll give it another half an hour in this swim, really investigate as much water as possible. And, uh, and just keep on moving up and, and hopefully get stopped in our tracks by some fish. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> it's a perch. Oh. Holy shit. Come here. Oh my God. Yes. That's another unit, bro. Look at that one. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> get in there a minute. Well done. Thank you very much. Look at him. That's a slab. Look at him. Have you seen him? <laughs> That is a slab, mate. What the f Yes. You naughty boy. I could have swore it was a pike again, mate. Took it straight away, mate. I, I just shouted to you to say how nice that, that he was trotting down the flow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you would have... Uh, Last seen us about half an hour ago, a few swims down, and we said we were just going to trot from swim to swim, hoping to pick a perch up. 
and, uh, and we have, and it's a nice one again as well. So again, I'll we'll show you. And there we go. Another Kraken River Thames perch. Again, taken on the live bait, same system I showed you yesterday. And uh, yeah, when we put him in that swim, we, we both said he was starting to swim toward the edge where the foliage was in the margin and soon took a U-turn. And as he started to sort of charge away, that's it. There was like a sort of a on the float. And uh, yeah, he really coursed off of him quickly, didn't he, into the main flow. So again, I thought it was a pike. <laughs> the way he took it and when I hit him, he stayed really low and it felt heavy, but, um, but no, another cracking three pound, two ounce perch. So yeah, two three pounders off the Thames. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. And what a lovely fish, huge paddle. If I get him to show his dorsal. So he's got a seriously, seriously cool dorsal. Oh, easier said than done. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> One happy man. <laughs> we'll get some stills of him and slip him back. Thank you very much. Wow. Never get bored of looking down at a fish in the net like that. Oh, especially when it's come off the River Thames. Look at him. Incredible. <sighs> yeah, I'm really, really, really over the moon with that one. And you know what? It could well be the last one of the session. We're not too sure yet. We're going to stick it out for another few hours. And the likelihood is that uh, if Shane's not going to go rushing back anytime soon, we'll try and stick it out till, uh, till last light and sort of revisit the spots where we have had bites. Go on, there we go, goodbye. Oh look, she's just down here in the margin sulking. <laughs> but yeah, as I say, could well be the last time you see us. Um, and if that is the case, it's been a brilliant weekend. And despite the weather being against us and the flood conditions and how cold it's been, we've still made the best of what we had. And um, I'm feeling pretty accomplished really to come off with three, two three pounders off the Thames. One near four actually, which is, which is pretty incredible to be fair. So yeah, if that is the last of it, then it's been great. Thank you Shane and the Tackle Lounge for the opportunity. It's been really good. Um, but who knows, you might see us a bit later on cradling another stripey. So we're going to carry on for another hour or two and see how it does. But failing that, it's been a, a pleasure, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>